It's alarming. We live in a country where we're supposed to trust the elections, but our media is so corrupt that we're even told days in advance we've got to get ready for the elections to take weeks because, you know, with the invention of the internet, electronic voting, and I don't know, uh, hyperspeed communication networks like fiber optics, we can get everything in seconds, including the video you're watching right now. But when it comes to a vote, that is not going to be possible to happen for weeks. Of course, that's only if a Republican is winning on election night. And to talk about the madness, the insanity, and why the Republicans keep losing, Lauren Witzke, welcome back to Slightly Offensive. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back. I had so much fun last time, and I'm um, happy to be here. Yeah, I thought it was funny. You and my wife, I was like, I was like, I said some curse words, and the first thing that I get from my wife is like, be respectful to Lauren. Don't be using those nasty words with her. And I was like, all right, next time she's on, I'm going to be better. I'm going to watch my mouth. I'm going to be cleaner. So I, this is, no I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah. You have to text. <laughs> Don't text her if I mess up. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about this. Okay. So this is insane. Um, I'm bringing this up right now because I saw this article and it was blowing my mind that we're still here in this era. Uh, this comes from brookings.edu. And this was telling us specifically that we needed to be ready to prepare for a long election. It said the chances of knowing which party will control the U.S. Senate on election night 2022 is increasingly small. Yeah, they had been preparing us for the last few weeks to be prepared that it's going to take weeks to count the votes. We may not know the results of the election until Christmas. I'm confused when this became normal because, you know, you think about five years ago, it was unheard of to not get the results of an election on election night. How did we get to a point where this is now considered normal that we have to wait weeks to get the results of an election like it like happened in 2020 and then it just like became normalized and, and and it's wrong and it should never be this way and like i said before if you had done this five years ago it would be completely unheard of like they bust their rear ends to make sure that we get the results on election night to keep people like from having to question even the results of the election because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes um while they're counting those votes and it's super concerning it gives americans uneasiness uh, because we don't really know what's going on. And I just can't believe this is happening in America. And like, yet again, it's like third world elections. Yeah. And okay. So this is where people are, 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 are questioning things because like, it's impossible for me to even believe that John Fetterman won an election unless I had went through 2020, which I'm agreeing with Tucker Carlson where it says right here in, in this article, if you're a blind viewer, remember this is an audio only podcast. And so it helps us out so much when you download the audio and you might be one of the blind viewers so you can only hear. And so I'm going to try to explain this as, 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 as uh, well as I can. But this next sentence says that the chances of knowing who won every single U.S. house and statewide race is zero. This is something that we have to talk about because when they say this, it's like the left has the ability to speak into existence something that may or may not have been true yesterday or even a moment ago, but because they have so much institutional backing and they have so much power to get their ideas out, it's a little bit like Hitler where he says, if you say a lie long enough and loud enough, people will eventually believe it. My, I've also heard too, that might even be a lie. He might've never even said that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it's like, so it's like, that's the, my, that's the whole point of the lie, the long enough, loud enough is that they go, look, we need the elections to not be trusted. So then they create articles that have the SEO ranking, which means that the higher ranking inside of Google search, they have the verifications on social media. They, it, they run all of the major media networks. They run all of the colleges and the educational classrooms. And yes, even the White House and press communication. They tell you our elections are untrustworthy. It takes time. And yeah. even if that was different for hundreds of years of our nation's history, it's now becomes the reality that we have to face because who else is going to oppose that narrative? We don't control anything. We don't have, we don't have any institution and even the media outlets we do have, they suppress in the algorithms. So limited amounts of people can access them. And you know, if you watch the show, you can only find it. If you actually really try, you know, Lauren, this, this firsthand, you've been banned, you've been censored. They have the power. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, they played the long game. So they prepared for this, started preparing for this decades ago. You know, they got their people in, in the media. They rose to the CEO or the president of these media companies. Uh, the people behind them financed them. They did the same with corporations. Um, and as a result, now they're in charge of everything. They have a stronghold on social media. They have a stronghold on uh news companies, uh, local news, even all, all the way down to that, they played the long game of uh, preparing for this, fortifying themselves uh, to be able to decide elections. Uh, you know, Republicans had an opportunity to fix uh, our elections. They had two full years, especially in even states like Georgia, with a Republican majority in the state legislature. They did nothing to get rid of the ballot box drop boxes. They did nothing to get rid of mail-in voting. Uh, you know, it was up to it was Arizona had the opportunity as well. They did not go in like gangsters. With this regime that we're fighting against, you have got to go in like a gangster, unapologetic, and push this legislation through to make elections safe and secure again. Um, and, you know, we had the opportunity to do it, and we didn't do it. They played the long game for decades, installing their people in these institutions and rising to power so we can't even fight back. Censorship is if you compare it to 2016, I can't believe it digressed to this point, to the point where I can't even talk about uh, a question, something suspicious happening um, that I see at the polling station. And I get banned on Facebook, Twitter. I actually just had a, I have a, a company Twitter uh, and I got banned on there questioning something that I saw at a polling station this last election. And it's at a point now where they, they were good. They outdid us. They were smart. They played the long game. And it's hard for us to even stand a chance because we, the kingdom of darkness is so organized. The kingdom of darkness is a well-oiled machine. That is something they have on us, whereas we are uh, reactionary. So we always try to react to what they're doing, but they always had plans all along um, and had it installed. And it's hard to undo a well-calculated plan. And, you know, we as Christians, we as conservatives need to get more organized. We need to get more mobilized. We need to play the long game to start taking back these institutions or we're not going to stand a chance ever. And it might actually be too late. No, you're absolutely correct. And one of the things that makes me the angriest about this is that when we actually make wins, they also put us in check like a dog being healed because CNN was pointing this out is that uh, Florida officials warned that the U.S. Justice Department that federal election monitors are not allowed inside polling places under state law, pushing back against federal plans to monitor in state. If you're not aware of this, uh, the Biden administration was planning on sending basically tattletales, pe uh, federal agents to go in and pressure the states and monitor the elections and saying, hey, we're going to take away your autonomy as a state and let you know that if you don't fall in line with the way we want things done, which of course was rewriting the rules of how elections are done. And we can't win when the elections have been rewritten. I mean, 70% of Democrats voted in, in, uh, in mail-in voting. So what they've done is they've engineered their entire party to vote uh, ahead of the election. And only 20% of Republicans uh, did early or, or, um, right. or uh, mail-in voting at all. So what that does is they can set a precedent that, okay, so 70% of their party early, early drops off their votes. Where are you going to push the fraud? Where are you going to push the, the corruption? Where are you going to? Obviously, they don't. And we're going to have a fully offensive segment. Remember, go to ElijahSchaefer.Locals.com. Link in the description. Lauren and I, uh, you know, after the show, we'll also have a little section where we'll be a m more blunt and honest, where we can't on YouTube about what they really did to this election. But, you know, like with Maricopa County, this is the same discrepancy uh, region that we had in the 2020 election. And it's what, two, three days later, we still don't know if Kerry Lake won governor. We still don't know if Blake Masters won in, in the Senate race. I mean, this is one of the most ridiculous things. This is the second largest voting precinct in the country. 60% of all of Arizonans vote. They're the largest in the state of Arizona. Arizona is one of the new centers of tech and trade. Literally, Silicon Valley is relocating. Every single tech company you can imagine that is supplanted there. And you're telling me that not only can we not count the vote the day of the election, but we can't even determine uh, where votes are coming from. We're finding uh, uh, bins of votes on the side of the road. Trucks are dropping them off. 
It's only allowed to be like this because we've allowed it. And what what is it? It was the Democrats using the scamdemic to re-engineer how we vote, how elections take place, to maximize the ability for them to push fraud and fraudulent means of running elections. I have to tell you about something amazing. So you might have heard of like Adderall or these prescription medications that get your brain working, but they're addictive and they have all these side effects. What if you could actually get rid of that brain fog, find ways to get a hold of your jitters, maximize your mental capacity and do it all in a real way that's legal, that you don't need a prescription for, that's not going to be addictive and actually helps you stay healthy. Let me tell you about Newtopia.com slash offensive. This is freaking sick. So I've been using nootropics and then I went to Newtopia and they gave me this box, a 30 day supply. I opened it up and I was like, holy crap. They gave me every type of sample of everything that I could get from their nectar to their ultimate focus to their power solution. I mean, there's so many different, different packages in here with different types of nootropics that help my brain to work better. To put it into perspective, like you can get right here, the power solution, you can get upbeat. This is for confidence, ambition, positivity. I took the upbeat before I did this episode. I am upbeat. I don't feel jitters. I don't feel gross. I don't feel like I took too much caffeine. I feel amazing, okay? You have the apex, can bring calmness if you want that opposite effect. Maybe you want some more focus with the ultimate focus, intense drive, hyper productivity. This is not like some sort of a scam that says it's gonna fix your marriage and make you $10 million, but this is the limitless pill, okay? This is so amazing. When you check these out and you go to new, you go to newtopia.com slash offensive, that's N-O-O-T-O, PIA.com slash offensive right now. Check it out and use my code offensive at checkout. It is amazing. The link's in the description. Get your nootropics, take a hold of your brain, and start utilizing 100% of your activity. Check it out. Get your box. Like, they even have this freaking, where is it? They even have like the, the, the Xamner juice. You spray this and it literally takes you immediately into a mood booster. It's amazing. So check it out. Go to newtopia.com slash offensive. Use my code offensive. Get your deal today. Get your 30 day supply. Get your box built. Check it out. Honestly, they're a sponsor of the show and I really am excited because I've been wanting a sponsor for a long time. Go to newtopia.com slash offensive.